The next area that was quite interesting was what happened when Saratoga Performing Arts Center here was evolved. Now, there were dozens of people throughout the Capital District in Saratoga that made it happen. There's many different versions of the um, beginnings of SPAC, but that really came after the Saratoga Hotel. Um, and that was an idea instigated by a newspaper reporter out of Troy and picked up by a politician who went up and down all of New York State saying what this city need, what this community needs is a city center. And uh, my father heard that speech at uh, a Rotary Club and got together with a small group of people. They were told by the State of New York and the Rockefeller Foundation that if they could raise $250,000 locally, they'd uh, maybe be interested in, uh, in supporting the effort to build a performing arts center. The governor was quite smart in that he made a very clear statement early on that the state would not make the investment in this area if the citizens of this area were not willing to participate and support it financially. Well, the professional fundraiser said there's no way you're going to raise $250,000 from a community of around 16,000 people, most of them Damon Runyon characters left over from the, the gambling days of the 50s. And uh, they said thank you very much and sent the professional fundraiser on their way. And they went out and raised the money, the $250,000 of local money to build SPAC. I can remember as a, as a child in grade school, putting pennies in the little milk cartons that were provided, I think by Stewart's, uh, pennies for SPAC. And in those days, I think lunch was um, 23 cents. And you always brought a quarter with you for lunch. So you take the extra two cents and put it in the milk cart. When you added SPAC with the track, it was three times as impressive as far as the resort area as it was with the track. The Saratoga Community Hotel, which is now the Holiday Inn, and after, the, after SPAC and the Northway, the infrastructure for a major redevelopment was in place. It hadn't happened yet. That's when I graduated from high school in 1969. I think what is always in the background of Saratoga is it was a very great, unique community a uh, hundred years ago. So there was always the sense that it could be great. The combination of the events that took place with the uh, uh, SPAC and with the community hotel and the Skidmore move in uh, the early 60s really gave it a sense that this community is on the move and you can get some momentum from it. It was just a tremendous amount of, of involvement because they could make something happen and they were seeing success. Nothing convinces you to do more than to get some good results from what you're doing.